right? Um, it takes a lot of resources to um, have a physical or occupational therapist um, be one-on-one -on -one with a given patient for six or eight hours of therapy a day. And frankly, there just literally aren't enough PTs or OTs in the world to help even the stroke serving population, let alone any, anyone else. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Nick Housie with Modus Nova. I'm a licensed neurophysical therapist and neuroscientist helping brain injury survivors understand how to make functional gains after their injury. I hope this video helps you in your recovery. Angie, do you have any um, outstanding questions that I can help answer while, while we're getting things going here? You know, you know I, so Dr. Nick, it, I assume, and Grant, Grant and I'm an OT, and it's mm -hmm. the whole brain motor visual connection, correct? Is that how this is working? Yeah, so let me give you a little bit of backstory here. So the backstory is, um, the stuff is not new. Um, it's actually inspired by a, a, pro, a program called Constraint Induced Movement Therapy. So this is developed in really it emerged from repetitive task practice and he's learned on use cases with Edward Taub back in like the late 90s. And then um, Steve Wolf got involved and they sort of translated this into individuals with neurologic injuries and specifically with individuals with stroke, actually in kids with CP. Doing these programs where you would constrain the less affected limb and you would force someone to do a lot of movement um, um, tasks. And this has shown time and time again to be very positive in terms of inducing changes in the brain. Sure. The challenge with this is that it's very costly, right? Um, it takes a lot of resources to um, have a physical or occupational therapist um, be one on one with a given patient for six or eight hours of therapy a day. And frankly, there just literally aren't enough PTs or OTs in the world to help even the stroke serving population, let alone any anyone else. And so what they thought of was, hey, can we use some technological solutions to make something that would help recapitulate portions of this? Of course, not the whole the whole thing. But the idea is that, okay, so instead of constraining, in this case, um, Wayne's right arm, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put something on his more impaired side, his left arm in this case, that's gonna help him um, become aware of that side and basically force him to use, use it in, in, in a, a directed way. So the idea here is that the modus hand provides um, that sort of biofeedback that you talked about, that visual motor integration, right? It's going to provide that biofeedback because it can sense Wayne's movement. But then what it's going to do, and this is something that's, that's really challenging to do um, in a straight up rehab program, is it's going to provide a tailored amount of assistance to help either it, um, Wayne initiate movement or amplify that movement. And so what we can do is we can sense very fine scales of movement capabilities like a fraction of degree of movement, and then we can amplify that. And um, that process um, it can take some time, as you as you well know, uh, to to relearn to use the, um, the you know to use your limb. But that's sort of the fundamental concept of of taking that concept of motor learning and, and neuro rehab. That, that is, I'm going to do a bunch of repetitive task practice with um, information about sort of KP and KR in terms of motor learning, right? Knowledge of results and knowledge of performance and then use that to understand how to use my limb again. And so that's sort of the fundamental concepts here. And again, we just kind of, um, we hide this behind activities and games just because it's fun to play games. Um, and, and, and neuro rehab is not, is not always so fun. Um, having A, had to gone through it myself as a, as a patient, as well as, um, as, as being a therapist on your side, um, having to have, having to work, work through it, <laughs> it can be a little monotonous. Um, yeah. So that, that's, that's really the, the fundamental concepts here. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions or would like to speak with me about how you can make functional gains from home, call or text me at 404-939-3476 or visit modusnova.com slash contact.